Hello people, this is Kizi Ayenkia on About My Project with Urban Bridge. Let's go. C'était um, du genre, je cherchais à éduquer. Je creusais, parce que Dadril en anglais, ça veut dire creuser. Dadril, ça veut dire éduquer et informer. Tu vois? Et Dadril, Dadril encore, c'est un genre de musique. Qui est, qui est populaire aux États-Unis et en Londres. En travaillant, en travaillant sur, sur ce projet, alors j'avais toutes ces questions-là dans ma tête. Et je pensais aller matérialiser dans ce projet. Le projet est en fait fait de multiples genres parce que c'est sur la découverte, comme je l'ai dit, le drill. C'est sur la découverte, donc nous avons dû fusionner avec la plupart des sons qui sont autour de l'Afrique. C'est pourquoi, dans le drill, vous allez avoir un son comme Toastara, qui a une Makosa percussion, vous allez avoir Ama Piano percussion, vous allez avoir Afrobeat, vous allez avoir Roomba, comme des sons de tout le monde d'Afrique, mais sur un drill, qui est un genre d'américain et d'américain de musique. The objective of working on the drill is it was just the fact that I wanted to be a bridge between my generation and the new generation because there has been this discussion probably online that uh, that all of us have been witnessing that everybody is talking about uh, the new generation, the older generation are not respecting the new generation. So since I come from the older generation, I was like, okay, how am I going to be a bridge between these two generations? So I decided now to come up with the drill because Drill music is what the new generation are doing. So what, how, what and how will I do it different? That was one of the aims. So I now came up with this project, build it from crash, brought in drill music and still made sure that the thematics stay online. I am still trying to educate, still trying to inform and then using the drill music that this generation likes and also telling the older generation that, hey, you need to move with time. As time is moving, you need to leave the boom bap and get into drill and you can still keep those thematics that you used to have. Yeah, the the concept of the new generation it is it is actually great because actually I see what they are doing. I still I see young guys like um Shapard, I see um Stifler, I see um the bad homie. You see, like these these guys are actually doing something great with what they have, and they are using the language that those of their generation can understand and relate to. And music is about relatability. So it's good. Okay, um, the drill practically took me two years. Um, and why did it take me two years? It took me two years because it was like um, a moment of discovery. Like I said, I was about digging to reinvent my own self, you see. And then now I had to get to multiple um, producers before I started working it with, um, with DJ Glenny. And later on, I didn't get what I actually wanted. I moved with GA the Bosca. I still listened and I felt like something was missing. And then I finally worked with um, Sango ED, with uh, Malaxe, and they finally gave me what I expected, the kind of music for consumption. And because I needed people to feel the vibe and not just the vibe, they should be able to feel the message that I am trying to transmit to them. Um, actually, the first track I think I will present to that person is a song like coming from Cameroon. I'll present a song like Tostara. And Tostara, Tostara is like um, it's like a commemoration to Lapiro Dembanga and Charlotte Bango. So that will be one song I would like to present to any, anybody who has never listened to the project. And then we we'll also have um, Berry. Berry, I come from Bonaberry, Berry City. So I'm repping my city and those around my city should be proud when they listen to it. And I believe that everybody too is going to connect with the song Berry. Like Cog with a Crow, every day I make sure I work up early. My flow now, my bateau, like this how I repeat them, I be sailing. Many want at the throne, they don't want to walk, they just want it easy. I'm bringing fire to the stove, I go move anybody when I'm ready. Blah. Oh my God, that's, that's some difficult question. Like <laughs> asking me to choose my favorite song is like, it's like the most difficult thing to do. 
you know because each and every song has a particular energy and a particular message that they transmit and each of the song I, you feel differently that's why if you listen to the project and the intention of working on this project was so that anybody that listened to this project will not feel the same way they were before they listen to the project so that's how the drill is gonna be <laughs> that was actually one of the most tedious part of the album because um i'm one of those artists that always think about the fact that we need to we need to come together i always believe in unity united we're stronger and for a common goal we are going to be greater so it was not actually um easy working with some of these artists because some of these artists are in the diaspora so i made sure that i brought a balance between cameroonian artists and diaspora artists because i too I used to be a diaspora artist, so you're going to have um, somebody like Big Hooks. Big Hooks is a whole big name in the United States. You're going to have Kilian Ate, who is also a big name in UK. You're going to have Tuke, who is a big name in Netherlands. You're going to have Trilly, who is a big name in Dubai. And then now in Cameroon, now you have people like Blueprint that came from Bamenda. You have my little sister, beautiful PST from Yaoundé. And then um, who else do we have? We have BGN. Yeah. And then we have um, we have D A the Bosca, yeah, D A the Bosca. <laughs> How come I want to forget about D A the Bosca? And to that note, D A the Bosca is the one that produced all of the instrumentals on the album, the drill. Okay, people, the drill is not disponible on the platform. Don't go check it out. Let's go. Urban Bridge, the plug to the music, Camel.